Ink Ribbon. No matter how much we don't want to accept it, there is a part in all of us that knows that our favorite video game characters aren't real, even though they are real to us. But one advantage to them being just a bunch of polygons is that they can do amazing physical feats, ragdoll without permanent injury, and they can always reload their save after dying. Unless it's in a cutscene. But now that we've entered the era of realistic graphics, these characters are being burdened with something new. Getting old. We are going to get to the Resident Evil characters, but first I want to talk about Snake. Metal Gear fans tend to have their favorite Snake. Big Boss, Liquid, Solidus. Mine is Solid Snake. He ushered me into the franchise back in the 90s and has always been my favorite. Now, Metal Gear has an extremely gritty realism to it, and one of the things mentioned way back in the first game is that Snake is going to age rapidly. Now, I never thought twice about it and happily continued through the series, and in the second game, Snake did seem noticeably tired, but I just figured he was sick of saving the world from nuclear annihilation every five minutes. But then, the shock and horror I experienced upon seeing Snake in Metal Gear Solid 4 was the visual equivalent of dipping my balls into freezing cold water. It was legitimately jarring and also made me kind of sad. I knew Snake as the young, spry badass who single-handedly took down a helicopter after sprinting up 50 flights of stairs while being shot at. Now he was just... Old. Snake. Now while Snake is the extreme example of a character aging, he definitely isn't the first, or the only one. Back when Tomb Raider Underworld was first being announced, I remember checking the GameFAQs forums and seeing so many people talking about Lara's new model looking considerably older. Some were complaining that they didn't like it, others were defending it, claiming that she looked age appropriate, but either way, the fact remained that at that time, Lara Croft was now approaching, or already, in her 40s. The reason I can't tell you her exact birth date is because all the incarnations of Lara keep changing her age, which lends itself to what I'm talking about. Originally, her birth year was 1968, which as of 2021 would make her 53 years old. However, when the series was rebooted to Legend, her age was reset and she was now born in 1977, making her 29 years old during that game, before finally completely resetting her age with the new reboot, which now has her born in 1992, making her 29 as of 2021. So that means a character that was at least 12 years older than me is now 3 years younger than me. What the fuck? Which now brings us to Resident Evil and its poster boy, Leon. Now this is what I like to call selective aging, where developers slow down the character's aging to keep them looking attractive as long as possible. Kind of like virtual Botox or something. When Leon first appeared in the franchise, it was 1998 and he was 21 years old during the events of Raccoon City. The oldest we saw him was in Vendetta in 2017, making him 40 years old. Speaking of Vendetta, there's something that really bugs me and I'm about to go on a small rant, but... <sighs> Showing characters being alcoholics needs to chill. They did it with Snake, they did it with Kevin, they did it with Chris, they did it with Leon, but here's the thing. Smoking and drinking both cause rapid aging in real life, which means that the characters are often portrayed as having some type of addiction or some type of dramatic I need to be saved for myself moment, but they never address the effects it would have on them if they were real people. So just because you see a celebrity drink or smoke or vape or whatever, please don't copy them because you think it looks cool. Also, drink water because it makes your skin glow. Okay, I'm done with my rant, back to the video. Now there's one character that has a big future in the franchise in this specific area, and that is Sherry. In Resident Evil 6, it's revealed that due to the effects of the G-Virus, aside from rapidly healing, Sherry will also basically never age and always look youthful, which means that maybe one day we'll be playing Resident Evil 16 as Sherry Birkin and she'll look as young as ever. If you also look at Chris in the new game Village, if the canon is correct, he is now 48 and he's looking pretty good. But here's where Capcom did a big ol' switcheroo. 
You may have seen the trailers for Infinite Darkness coming out and noticed that Leon and Claire look pretty good and pretty young. Well, that's because the series takes place in 2006, around the time of the events of Resident Evil 5, which, just like Resident Evil 2 Remake, conveniently rolls the clock back to their younger selves. But the question I have, the reason I made this video, is what happens to these characters when they get too old? Are we gonna one day be playing as Grandpa Leon trying to escape the nursing home zombies? Will Claire become a supporting character and guide a new, fresh character via radio communication? Will we ever find out why Wesker had a picture of Rebecca in his desk? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Just kidding. But that is where I'm going to end this video today and I will pass the question off to you guys. What do you think the future of video game characters and aging will be? Or what would you like to see done? Keep them young forever? Let them age and bring in new characters? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to be really cool and hit that like button. And also, I'm launching a podcast soon. If you want to be an early subscriber, we're looking to hit a thousand before we launch. But if you want to be really cool, the link to that is in the description. The podcast is called Think Ribbon, and I cannot wait. We're going to have voice actors. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, until next time, I'm Kai Morgan. And as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon. And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Your extra support means the world to me and helps me keep making content for you guys.